we're gonna do muzzle training. We've got a couple games for you to play. So we're gonna jump straight in. Game one is going to be feeding your dog when the muzzle comes out. So you, unlike me, will not hold it here and talk while your dog is looking at it, all right? So the first several times your dog sees the muzzle, there's always gonna be food that appears and I'll show you just what that will look like. So I'm just gonna start with this small handful of dog food, move my toys over. I'm gonna peel the pieces of the muzzle back. All right, so both the food and the muzzle are behind my back. When I bring it out, the dog looks, they simply get a food. When they're done chewing, the muzzle disappears. You're gonna wait several seconds and then we're gonna do it again. Yes, good girl. I'm a big fan of marker training. So you may do a click when they look at it, or you may say the word yes. That always means that they're going to get food for whatever they just did, all right? Yes. Good girl. Yes. Yes. All right, that's level one. All right, level two, after they've done that for let's say one full day, you do that three times a day for a minute each time. Um, after they do that for one full day, then your next step is going to be to peel back all of the pieces like I have done, and you're gonna start feeding your dog through the holes. So when we do the feeding, you're gonna look for the biggest hole on the bottom and we're going to just stick a treat through there. Our dog will willingly put their head in. Um, dogs who haven't played the game before will pull their head right out. As soon as they have um, eaten the treat, they'll take the treat and then try to move out, which is fine. They can definitely do that. Everybody's gonna respond a little differently. So you can do that one reward and then pull the muzzle behind your back for a second. Then when it comes out, the food comes with it. All right, so then you're gonna start seeing your dog be happy. They're gonna start showing happiness whenever they see the muzzle coming out. All right, so we start with the bringing it out, giving that food reward. Then if they're willing to stay there, you can give them another one. All right, um, if they're willing to stay even longer, you can start doing things uh, like reaching to grab another treat like I just did. Very good, all right. So those are going to be your first couple of steps. Now the next thing to do is ditch your food and grab toys instead as long as you have a toy motivated dog. We're going to attach the collar, not the whole muzzle, but the collar piece is going to go around, all right? So we're going to put the strap over the neck and tighten it to almost as tight as we would have it if it were going to be staying on the dog. All right, so you see it's here dangling a little bit, but like I said, almost as tight as we would want it to be. Um, and that's to get them used to the feel of having that pressure and the weight on their neck. All right, so now we're gonna play a game. Are you ready to play? Are you ready to play? Catch, get it, oh, good job. Okay, catch, get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. Good job, good girl. Okay, ready? And now we're just gonna play games with our dog, all right? We're just gonna play and learn to get comfortable wearing that. Go get it. Good job. Good. Okay, let me get that one. Go get it. Go get it. A what? A what? A what? A what? Good job. Catch. Good job. Get nice happy body language really getting relaxed and loose um, so if our dog stays stiff and doesn't have any emotion when we're playing then we need to find something else to do instead all right so we want to see a nice happy dog and um, this will help to pair a positive association with wearing the muzzle all right so those are going to be your first few steps for muzzle training and we'll take it from there thanks for watching